guys. We're out here on the tarmac at Tinker Air Force Base, and here she is, the AWACS, the Airborne Warning and Control System. And by the way, this is the first time in more than five years that Tinker has offered a flight to the public. Let's go. Its purpose and mission, mid-air surveillance and intelligence. It helps us identify a friend or a foe. The rotodome on top, identifying the good guys from the bad in combat. It provides a lot of coverage and a lot of different multifaceted uh, missions uh, that uh, the Air Force supports across the globe. The AWACS even playing a vital role in NATO operations following 9-11 in Libya and Afghanistan. KOCO5 claiming one of the coveted seats aboard a rare public mission with Captain Tommy Reagan. We'll head out towards Nevada and then we'll come back here uh, about uh, five and a half hours in route. The weather, as you know, it's a little windy out there today. It's a little cloudy here. We should have no problems taking off. With its ability to fly at altitudes of more than 30,000 feet at almost 400 miles an hour, we were quickly over New Mexico, asking the crew members the ins and outs of their in-flight responsibilities. Our biggest challenge is, is metering whether or not we can support the dynamic changes of the missions. And Captain Reagan says those changes can come fast. Any pilot that says he doesn't get nervous, uh, he, or he or she does not get nervous, uh, would be sorely mistaken, but at the end of the day, uh, you've got your crew to back you up, especially on this aircraft. Four in the cockpit and up to 19 specialists, depending on the magnitude of the mission. Tinker Air Force Base is the worldwide headquarters for AWACS, and we house 27 of the 31 in existence right here in our own backyard. Reporting for KOCO 5 News, I'm Marky Martin.